the removal of petrol subsidy, which is meant for economic growth, may have temporary negative impact on the citizens' income and earnings. Hence, the move by the federal government to provide palliative measures to the state to cushion its effect on the nation's economy. Enugu State Government, having received the federal government palliative, went further to add to the figure with the aim to distribute substantial quantity of food items to the two city political wards of the state. Flagging out the distribution of the food items to the poor and vulnerable household, Governor Peter Amba says the items are meant for the rural and urban poor families. This palliative is designed to reach our downtrodden, to ensure that those that are most in need of these palliatives get them and that they don't end up into the wrong hands. It says it is part of the short-term quick fix measure to reduce the number of people in poverty with the hope to devise long-term poverty alleviation mechanism in the state. But our plan is to also subsidize transportation so that our people our people can move from one point to the other seamlessly. And as Dagon Chairman, what I'm going to do is to promise you that I will talk with my colleagues to make sure that this gets to the downtrodden, the people that it's meant for. It's not for everybody, it's for the poor, and it must get to the poor. The beneficiaries the express gratitude for the state and federal government intervention. Our Enugu Governor, Barista Pitamba, is doing very well, and our uh, President uh, Tunubu, they are doing very well to helping people. They know that our our country, that people, are, we are suffering. We believe that those in charge at various wards and local government areas that they should follow the directive that uh, His Excellency has given to ensure that the lives of persons with disabilities are touched. 200 bags of rice and 200 bags of maize were sent to each of the two city political wards in the state as palliatives. Governor Peter Amba sees the medium to announce plans to intervene in mass transit bus procurement where residents will move from one point to the other as subsidized transportation fare. Bamedele Ajayi, TVC News, Enogun.